Ramadan Mubarak, Sadia. Sadia, I did not plan this. You see in the video, the, the photos, just, I, I just, when I saw this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just have to show her this, if you don't mind, Sadia. Once I get there in person, this is coming, but at the same time, I just went, oh my gosh, this, you're gonna go, oh my gosh, this is so neat. So I actually was downtown, and basically I was trying to get find my way back home. And then you'll see the pictures, what I came across, I found it by because I saw the crescent in the uh in, in the there. Oh my gosh, you see the pictures, how beautiful where I am at the ma at the masjid. So basically I thought, okay, why don't I go in? And I went in, yeah, I did a prayer. Yeah. So I did it. I'm in the Ramadan and I I saw but the thing was I I learned something it's kind of similar because I'm doing Lent we do in my parish which that's what I was doing we, we do a like a Lenten mission so it's a it's like a it's a priest who usually comes and is basically during through the week you go and he's talking about why we're basically sacrifice what Lent means and what it means to basically give up things for 40 days it's talking about how jesus went in the desert and was tempted by satan so we're learning about temptation so i actually went in to pray and i thought oh my gosh you would have loved this because um in there the, there was a there was a young man's voice speaking um in english and i guess it's almost like for us you guys are they do a ramadan mission so he's talking about the purpose of fasting and saying that like oh i'll share you when i when we get to know when when i show when i when i see you but basically what he was saying is and i thought it was very cool very like open-minding to to anyone who judges anyone for not doing the things of ramadan and he was saying that um it's not basically he was talking about how some people are going to fast and some people will not fast but it's not up for us to be basically excuse me telling these people that you should be fasting in other words he's saying no it's what what the person is doing it's it's a self-reflection on them so we're not to be passing judgment on what on the do's and don'ts of what you're doing when you're celebrating your your i guess i call it a feast day your yes your so anyways talk to you later you can see behind me look isn't it beautiful i've seen a lot of majids so far and I keep thinking myself, there you go, Sadia. I heard you saying once you wanted to go to um, uh, Saudi Arabia for a pilgrimage. And, you know, I, I also went somewhere else. I am, I'll share you like a couple of pictures if you don't mind. I won't put too much words because it's there. But it's just a place that I thought because I know Sahil is, Sahil is, is graduating. And that means now by that all three of your children have now basically finish that level and I thought for them te technically they're your first generation of Canadians of Afghan Canadians so I actually had an idea of a place that maybe you guys could go because I know you like to do things with them but I thought it would be a good learning experience for all of them include like for you to share I'll show you where I went especially take and make sure Rosa goes because I'm thinking this would be a really nice um, gift for Sahil and Roya because their birthdays are combined and usually you have Eid and this time they don't and I thought something it would be like a learning experience for all of you and them to I'll show you in the video in the pictures you'll see where I went and you'll understand why basically two of your children I believe are destined to end up here and you'll you'll see why and possibly could be the third too if I don't know what he's doing with himself but these two definitely um, it's anyways I'll talk to you later see look one more time Ramadan Mubarak Sadia inshallah mashallah Mwah.